Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is equations of line. So in many of our videos, we have learned how to plot the points on a coordinate plane and graph linear equation. Now we can begin to analyze the equation of lines and evaluate the different characteristics of these lines. So in this section, we'll learn about the commonly used forms of writing linear equation and the properties of lines that can be determined from their equations. For example, without creating a table of values, what we usually denote by T chart, you will be able to match each equation to its corresponding graph. Now you will also be able to explain the similarities and differences of each line, how they relate to each other and why they behave that way. Let me post the graph on the board. I have given you a graph and set of equations so you can easily identify. So these are the lines y equal to 3x plus 2 and if you shift this to the other side you will get negative positive 3 over 2 and if you shift this you will get the same slope. So these two lines are parallel and this is a line on this. This is y equal to negative 2 and x is equal to 5. This line is called x is equal to 5. So what you have to do is write the equation in y equal to mx plus c format and then compare it with the slopes of the lines given on the line on the graph. This is what we have learned in previous videos. Now we are going to learn about writing equations of slope equations of lines using slope intercept form the slope of a line so when we are asked to write equations of the lines we need to find the slope after that we need slope intercept form so let us discuss one by one slope intercept form perhaps the most familiar form of a linear equation is the slope intercept form it is written in the form y equal to mx plus b or c both the variable denote the y-intercept and this is the slope M is the slope and B is the y-intercept. Now let us begin with the slope. Slope of the line. The slope of a line refers to the ratio of the vertical change in y over the horizontal change in x between any two points on the line. It indicates the direction in which a line slants as well as its steepness. Slope is sometimes described as rise over run. The formula for slope would be if the slope is positive, the line slants to the right. If the slope is negative, the line slants to the left. As the slope increases, the line becomes steeper. Okay, let me show you some examples. Let me post the graph. So the lines indicate the following slopes. m equal to negative 3, m is equal to 2 and m is equal to 1 over 3. Do you see these lines for this given equation? I'd like to give you a general note on the slope. Slope of a line. The slope of a line m represents the this, this particular value. What I mean is coefficient of x on the right side of the equation. When the equation is written in y equal to mx plus b format. It represents the change in y over the change in x. This is just the formula. Change in y over change in x. Given two points x1, y1 and x2, y2, you can determine the slope of a line containing these points y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So this is the formula to find the slope of a line. Hope you are clear with this point. Ok, now let's see some example finding the slope of a line given two points. Here is the question. Please note that a pair of x, y coordinate is given. Now let me name it. Let this be x1, y1, x2, y2. So after naming, I'm going to use the slope formula. Slope is denoted by m and it is just the change in y over change in x. Now let us plug in all these values in the formula. Where y2 is 3, y1 is negative 1. Please note that there is a negative sign already in the formula. And there is a negative sign in the given point. Now let us plug in x2. Negative 5 and replace x1 with 2. Are you clear till this step? Now let us simplify. Negative times negative is positive. So 3 plus 1 is 4. Negative 5, negative 2 is negative 7. Therefore, slope for the given point is negative 4 over 7. It does not matter which point is called x1, y1 or x2, y2. Even if you change, even if you take this as x1, y2 and this as x2 and y2, you will get the same slope. As long as we are consistent with the order of the y terms and the order of x terms in the numerator and denominator, the calculation will yield the same result. Please remember that always the first number denotes the x. 
First number is the x coordinate, second number is y coordinate. Now let me take one more example and explain you how to identify the slope and y intercept of a line given an equation. Here is the example. Please read the question. We are supposed to identify the slope and y-intercept given in the equation. This equation is already written in y equal to mx plus b format. In case if it is not given in that format, you have to rearrange or you have to do some algebraic steps to bring the equation into the y equal to mx plus, plus b form. Only then you can identify the slope and y-intercept. So in the place of m, we have negative 3 over 4. Please make sure that you do not miss these signs. And in the place of y-intercept, y-intercept is denoted by b, we have negative 4. So this is how we used to identify the slope intercept from the given equation. Now let me give you one more example. Do you see this question? Let us find the slope and y-intercept in this equation. First, I have to isolate y in the left side. For that, I am going to shift x to the other side. So, 3x, I get negative 5y on the left side and negative 3x plus 12 on the right side. Now, let me get rid of this negative 5y from both these sides. So, I am going to divide each and every term by negative 5. So, I will get y isolated on the left side, negative over negative is positive. So, 3 over 5x plus so plus times minus is minus so 12 over 5 we have rewritten the given equation in y equal to mx plus b form so let us identify y equal to mx plus b now it will be easy for you to identify the slope as well as the y intercept in the place of m we have 3 over 5 in the place of b we have negative 12 over 5 so please make sure that you do not miss any sign. So this is how we identify the slope and intercept. Hope you are clear with this concept. The y-intercept is the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. On the y-axis, x is equal to 0. We can always identify the y-intercept when the line is in slope-intercept form as it will always equal b or just substitute x is equal to 0 and solve for y. The next important thing in the equations of line is point-slope formula. Given the slope and one point on a line, we can find the equation of a line using the point slope formula. Let me give you the formula y equal to y minus y1 equal to m x minus x1. This is the formula that will be very helpful in finding the equations of line. This is an important formula as it will be used in other areas of college algebra and you also use this formula in calculus to find the equation of tangent line. So we need only one point uh, x1 and y1 and then slope of the line to use the formula. After substituting the slope and coordinates of the one point into the formula, we can simplify it and write it in the slope intercept form. Okay, let me take an example and explain you. Here is the example. Write the equation of a line with slope. A slope m is given that passes through a point. Write the final equation in slope intercept form. Okay, a slope and a point is given. So let this point be x1, y1. Let us plug in all these values m, x1, y1 in this formula. y minus y1 is 8 equal to slope is negative 3 and x minus x1 is 4. Now let us simplify this. You have to distribute the numbers on the right side. So this would become negative 3x and negative times negative is positive 12. Now add 8 on both these sides, you will get plus 20. See we have written our equation in y equal to mx plus b form by plugging in. Please note that any point on the line can be used to find the equation. If done correctly, the same final equation will be obtained. Hope you are clear with this concept. Okay, finding the equation of line passing through two given points is also possible. Let me show one example. In the previous example, we had the slope directly, but here we are just having two points 3, 4 and 0, negative 3. Now let's find the slope intercept form. First, we need to calculate the slope using the slope formula and the two points. What is the slope formula? m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let us plug in all the points. Let this be x1 y1 
x2 y2 no problem even if you assume this as x2 y2 and this as x1 y1 you will get the same value now let us plug in all these values y2 is negative, two, negative 3 y1 is 4 x1 is 3 and x2 is 0 so you have negative 7 over negative 3 negative over negative is positive so slope would be 7 over 3 are you clear with step 1? We didn't get the slope directly. We are just calculating from the two given pair. Next, we use the point slope formula with the slope 7, 3 that we got in step 1. And we can plug in either of the given point. Let us pick 3, 4. Even if you pick this pair, you will get the same equation. Let's see what has happened. What will happen if you plug in M from step 1 and we are just randomly picking any one of the either of the given point. So, I will get y minus 4 equal to 7 over 3 x minus 3 can you follow so far ok now let's distribute and simplify y minus 4 equal to 7 over 3 times x so if you multiply these two the denominator will get cancelled out and negative 7 will be left over now add 4 on both these sides negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3 Therefore, in slope intercept form, the equation is written in y equal to 7 over 3x minus 3. Now, let's analyze this solution. To prove that either point can be used, let us use the second point 0, negative 3. If you replace that pair, you will get the same number. We see that same line will be obtained using either point. So, this makes sense because we use both points to calculate the slope. That's it for this topic. So, these are the important formulas that you should remember. Slope and point slope formula. In case if you have any query, kindly let me know. See you in the next video. Have a great time.